Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this all gray GP38 locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we're going to start with the rear coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak vent skate. Then, on the next block down, we're going to put five backward facing black stone brick stairs coming across. Above it, a black stone brick block in the center and two upside down stairs on either side. Then come in front of it in the middle and do a three block tall T-shape of black stone brick blocks. Put a torch on either side of the second layer. And then in front of that, we'll do a five by three of black stone brick blocks coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then we're going to put three polished andesite slabs in this gap for stairs and three on this side. We're also going to put three on this top middle back here. Then we're going to come down on bottom and we're going to open a dark oak vent skate like this above each of the rails. Then we're going to put two end rods here, two on this side. And on this top middle, we're going to put two mangrove fence gates and a skeleton skull. In front of this on bottom, a fence gate on each rail. Then one block forward from that in the middle, a black stone brick block and a slab. Then two sideways fence gates in the middle. Then a black stone brick slab and a block. Then take out another right for the wheels. We're going to put one here and one here. And then one here and one here. Put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. Then on the gaps between the wheels here, we're gonna put four sideways lightning rods here, four on this side. Then we're gonna come on top, on the top middle here, and do a line of black stone brick blocks down the center. And we're gonna come out one block past these fence gates. Then on the side of it, put a full row of dark oak fence gates up here, and a full row of fence gates on this side. Then we're going to come in front of this on the bottom on the next block forward and we're going to go three wide with black stone brick block and start extending that forward in the middle and we're going to make that 11 blocks long so a three by 11. Then on the side of this we're going to put 11 upside down black stone brick stairs facing outward and then a full row of upside down stairs on this side. Then come on the front on the top and do a three by three of black stone brick block in the middle. Then come to the back and do two rows of three at the back. Then across here on the upper hip box, we'll go three wide with black stone brick slabs and bring that up to the front here. So there's this hole through it. Then come in front of this on bottom and do a fence gate on each rail. Then in the middle in front of it, a black stone brick block and a slab. Then two fence gates, then a black stone brick slab, and a block. Take out netherite for the wheels, one here and here. Same thing on this side. Then a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. And same as before, we're going to put four sideways lighting rods on each side above the rails in this gap. Then we'll come up top and do a light of black stone brick block up the center to where these fence gates are. On this side, put one block of this quarter here. Now in front of this, we're going to do a 5x3 of black stone brick block coming out to each side of the track. In front of that, a T-shape in the center. And put a torch on either side of the second layer. Then on the bottom middle, we're going to put three forward facing stairs. And an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then we're going to put three polished andesite slabs coming up this side gap, three on this side, and three on this top middle. Take out a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block. 
Under it, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate sideways, then open a fence gate above each row. Then we're going to put two end rods here, two here, and on this top middle, two mangrove fence gates and a skeleton skull. Then come on this side, where this extra block is, hang a bell. Then on the front of the fuel tank up here, a wither skeleton skull on each side. Behind it, a mangrove button on each side. And behind that, a mangrove sign on each side. Then behind the sign, we're going to put two dark oak fence gates on either side. Come to the back of the fuel tank and put a string on the back of this stair. And a string on the back of this stair. Then we're going to come up in front of the fence gates and do a line of sideways anvils until one's out over that string. And then same thing on this side until it comes out over where we put that string here. Now come on the sides of the wheel and put a hopper on each wheel. Same thing on this side, hoppers on these wheels. Then we'll do the front, hoppers on these two wheels and get the other side. Then we're going to crouch and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing on this side here. Then we'll get the back truck, so crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each of the hoppers back here. And same thing on this side. Then we're going to come stand on top of this and crouch and we're going to go on top of the hoppers and we need to put a single polished deep slate slab on top of all four of the hoppers. Then move a hitbox down and do one here and here and then one here and one here. Then put two polished deep slate blocks on the middle two of each side. Then come out here and we're going to put four iron trap doors here. And then same thing over here, four iron trap doors here. Then we'll repeat it at the front, so come up here and crouch. Put a single polished deep slate slab on all four of these hoppers. Move a hitbox down, one here and here, one here and here. We'll put two polished deep slate blocks on the center of either side. Then four iron trap doors here, and four here. Then put two dark oak fence gates on the middle of these two blocks and a skeleton skull above each wheel. Same thing here, skeleton skull above each wheel, two fence gates on the middle. Then come back up here and crouch and we're going to put an end rod here and here, one here and one here. And we'll repeat the process at the back. So two fence gates on the middle, skeleton skull above each wheel. Same thing on this side and two fence gates in the middle. Then crouch, and we'll go ahead and put an end rod here and here, and one here, and one here. So the truck looks like this from the side. Then we're going to come up top, and we're going to take black stone brick block, and we're going to go three wide in the middle, and we're going to bring that all the way across the top, down to the other end of the locomotive here. Then, once we have that, we're going to come on the side on this upper hitbox, and we're going to go end to end up here with polished andesite slabs. And then same thing on this side, end to end up here with polished andesite slabs. And now the base of the locomotive is completed here. Now come on top of the front on the third block in, and change this one and this one to gray wool. Then do a pattern of three light gray concrete like this and make it three blocks tall. Then we're going to put three light gray stained glass panes in this corner and three on this side. Then we'll come on behind it here, right here, two columns of three light gray concrete, then two in the middle, one here, and a brewing stand. Then a concrete above it and a column of three behind it. On this top middle, put three light gray wool, then a temporary block in the middle, Put a trap door here, open it, and take out the temporary block. Then we're going to crouch on top of this, and on the front of this trap door, hang a light gray banner. Then come down on the bottom here, put two light gray shulker boxes here, and two here. 
on this side do four light gray shulker boxes coming back and then a light gray concrete. On this side just four shulker boxes. Then on this side put a light gray concrete here and four more coming back. On this side a light gray concrete on top of the back here and four coming forward. Then up here we're going to do three light gray concrete, a door here, turn this way and a door here. On this side, three light gray at the back, a door here, turn forward and a door here. Then we're going to come down and we're going to crouch and we're going to hang two light gray banners over this side door so it hides it on the side. And then same thing on this side, we'll come over here and crouch and we'll hang two light gray banners on the side of this door to hide that on the side view. Then up here we're going to put two black stained glass panes and a light gray concrete. Then a white stained glass pane here. On this side two stained glass panes here, light gray concrete at the back. Then up here four outward facing polished andesite stairs on top and four on this side. Fill the rest of this cab roof with light gray concrete up here. And on the front middle put a light gray concrete with a light gray stained glass pane on either side. Then we'll come around behind the cab on this side. We're going to put two ladders right here. Then behind the cab here and here, we're going to do a column of five light gray concrete and one on the top middle. Now we're going to come behind this. And on each side, we're going to do a three by four of light gray concrete coming up. Then on top of each side, three deep slate tile walls. On top of this, a 3x3 three three of polished andesite slabs. Then we'll come behind this and do two columns of five light gray concrete coming up. Fill in the top middle and two rows of three iron trap doors right here. Then we're going to come down to the rear end. Back here, we're going to change these two to gray wool and this one. Then put a pattern of three light gray concrete like this and raise it up till it's five blocks tall. Then five light gray stained glass panes in this corner, five in this corner. Then one on that top middle. Then we're going to come up here with light gray concrete on each side. And we're going to raise it up four blocks tall here. And we're going to drag it all the way to the back of each side, four blocks tall with light gray concrete. Right down to the back here. Then on top of the back in the middle up here, we're going to do seven bedrock blocks coming forward. On the side of it, we're going to go three iron bars, light gray concrete, three iron bars. Then do the same thing on this side, so three iron bars, a concrete, and three iron bars. Then in front of this, fill the rest of this roof three wide with light gray concrete up here. Just like that. Now in this bottom corner, two stone brick walls, and behind it a line of polished andesite slabs coming back till we're over this first back wheel. Then come up right here and do a 3x3 three three of light gray stained glass panes here. Then we're going to come up on top of the back where this bedrock is, and use polished andesite slabs to do a plus shape right here for a fan, and one right here. Put an oak trap door in the center of each. Then we're going to come up behind these iron trap doors and do an upside down forward facing polished andesite stair on either side, then an outward facing stair. Behind it, three deep slate tile stairs, upside down, and three on this side. And behind that, a backward facing polished andesite stair upside down on either side. Then on the center of this, do a plus shape of polished andesite slabs, knock out the middle, put in a bedrock block, and an oak trap door for the dynamic brake fan. Then, we're going to move up to the front here. We're going to cover the top of this nose in light gray carpet. Then up here, open a fence gate in the middle, sideways one behind it. Then change this center block to light gray carpet. And we're going to put a lever on that. And we're going to cover the rest of this cab roof up here, three wide, with light gray carpet. Then we'll come behind these trap doors and come across here with light gray carpet and get down and around both sides of this dynamic brake van. And across here, and we'll get in between 
these back bands and then down and around the back and then actually we have to put the exhaust on I forgot about that so we're gonna come here and we're gonna change this block to light gray wool and change this block to light gray wool and then put a flower pot on each of those for the exhaust then we're gonna come down here with gray carpet and do a line across this in the back we're gonna put two here and one here then start right here and come all the way forward up this side with it then we'll come up here we're gonna crouch and get two on these shulker boxes then two here a t-shape on the nose two here and one on this shulker box right here now we'll do our railings to so take out a birch fence on the front right here we're gonna come up four then back one up one back one up one back one then on this corner we're gonna come up three and over one and a two by two right here same thing on this side we'll come up three right here over one and a two by two right here then here we're gonna come up four back one up one back two on this front gap we're gonna put a chain across here then we're gonna to come to the back end with our birch fence and repeat the process so right here we're gonna come up four here we're gonna come up three over one and a two by two right here then here we'll come up four here we'll come up three over one and a two by two right here and then a chain across this gap then come right here and we'll do the side railings so we're going to connect our birch fence up to this and start bringing it forward when we get right here we're going to come up to forward one so it looks like that then we'll do this side so come to the back down here connect your fence up right here and start bringing it all the way forward when we get right here in front of these walls we're gonna put one on top like that then we're gonna come up front with a glow item frame put one on either of these fences with a frog light then we'll come on this top middle and put a glow item frame with a frog light and on the side of it we'll do a dark oak sign with your number whatever number you want since this is just a made-up locomotive and hit them both with white dye and a glowing sack then we'll come back here on the back glow item frame on either of these fences with a frog light then a glow item frame with a frog light on the middle here dark oak sign on either side with whatever number you're using hit them both with white dye and a glowing sack then we're going to take birch fences and we're going to put a column of three here one above the sign and then open those for the ladder now we'll do the interior so come on inside the cab we'll put some frog lights down here for hidden lighting and then at the same level of the door we're going to fill this whole floor in with smooth stone slabs here in this back middle put two blast furnaces then we're going to put a stair here and here for seats on the front middle a netherite with two levers for the control stand and now the inside's done and we can come back out now we have to do the other cab windows and for that we're going to make a banner so come into a loom black banner light gray dye put a border on it and make the bottom half light gray and then we'll come and place these on this side it goes on the back of the cab and we're going to put it right here like that then on this side we put it on the front right here we can't do the other side because we have the door there so there we have it folks we've completed this all gray gp38 locomotive i hope everyone enjoyed the build thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and everyone have a great week stay safe out there rail fans